Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Spacelamp6 or Kyle here. Today I'm going to be giving you a up-to-date tour of my uh, raft. This is the third one of these I've done. The last two were at day 310 and day 365. We're now at day 415. Uh, I haven't really played on this raft in a couple months, but I recently started playing on a different raft with some friends and it's their first time playing. And it's inspired me to give you guys another up-to-date tour of my current raft. Um, so I guess I'll just get started. So yeah, we are on day 415, and we have played through um, version 1.0, or like the official release of the game, the final chapter I think they called the update. Um, so let me give you a tour. For those of you who have seen day 365 and 310, things do look very different now. Uh, for example, I have the new anchor that can be controlled via the uh, updated steering wheel controls. Um, but I'll start over here. This is kind of my main room. I have my juicer with some recipes. I have my cooking station with recipes littered all over the place. Just some storage for different fruits. I've got bananas now, different seeds and things. This is my loot chest, I guess you could call it. Um, it is a bit lacking in metal, but it's got a decent amount of titanium, very rich in copper, a lot of um, bits made as well. Uh, we've got a little clock here. We can go inside the house, and I think the last thing I did was actually decorate the house. I have my bed over here with some of the paintings, a lot of plants. I have a little shelf with these cat guys, one of the ducks in the toy robot. Um, I've got a little table set up. I think that's a tic-tac-toe game. Um, I have some storage for tools. I've got all of the animal heads I've killed. Over here I have the globe and the foundation counter, along with the trumpet thing. Um, I've got the grand piano, a couple of shelves here with some books, and a little robot, another day counter, and a clock. Over here is my smelting area. I have five smelters. This chest has like hats and some like random stuff, some of the cassette tapes, spare beds, that kind of thing. Uh, I got some paintings around the wall. I also have the little string lights or whatever they're called. I forgot what they're called. Uh, I can't find them. Anyways, but the lights around. You go up to the second floor. This probably looks different from the last time you saw it. This is a new storage area thing. Um, I have a couple that are empty, but I've got planks, blueprints and stuff, plastic, plastic, plastic. More planks, stone and feathers, uh, plastic, uh, coconuts and seeds and flowers and stuff. Uh, scrap, seaweed and vine goo, rope, uh, leaves, Empty. I've been basically turning all of my leaves uh, into the recyclable trash cubes for trading because I have so many. These are spare tools and another empty one, but plenty of storage here. Um, here are my uh, trash cube makers with some of the trash cubes and my trading coins. Um, this is a big shark I killed. Uh, if you haven't played through the entirety of the game, this is just a big shark you kill. Uh, pretty cool. This is my wind-powered battery charger. I have it right here with some other batteries. I've got a sail. Over here is my navigation area. So I've got my steering wheel right in front of my uh, little receiver. I've got my controls for the engines. I forget how these work, uh, but I think one goes forward and back and one turns it on and off or something. So that turned it on and off and this switches it forward and back. Uh, that's the anchor up or down right there. Super cool. Got my little sail thingy so I can see where the wind is. Some of the receivers dotted around. All right, let's jump down. Down here is my cooking area. I've got my grill here. This is one of the electric ones with the battery. I've got spare food over here. Probably use some more. Uh, over here is my biofuel bins with my honey and sand and stuff. Uh, over here is my engine array. Uh, here's my engine tank and then I have them all piped up and wired into each engine. I believe I have five, but this one isn't even on the circuit, I don't think, because I only need four to power the raft. But if it gets bigger, I can just kind of add this one on. Uh, over here is the old battery charger rig. There used to be a, a pipe like here or something, and this would power the battery charger. Um, over here is the water purification center. So I've got a, a paint wheel here, then I have my water pump, and then the pump uh, purifies that, stores it in this tank, and then the tank, uh, there's my, my little bee setup. I've got one beehive. Um, it pumps it all the way around 
to my animal uh, area. It has the storage tank and some sprinklers. And these are my couple of animals I have. I don't have super many, but here they are. Uh, that's how that works. Here's one of the entrances to the house. Uh, it's got like the side door and the tiki, tiki towers. Um, I am pretty happy. I think one of the things I did was I fully like secure the entire outside uh, ring with like the reinforced scaffolding, which is nice. Uh, up there is just like a big tower, so from far away I can see where the raft is. Um, I, I feel like I got everything. That was relatively quick. Um, shoe collection. I've got nets going around the entirety of the place. What do I have in here? I got some storage, some paint and stuff. Uh, but yeah, this is this is the raft. This is a entirely solo raft. Day 415 by me. I believe I started this raft back. Oh man, this raft was created before um, Caravan Town or Balboa or Vastagon. The only thing in the game was the radio tower. So this is a, a relatively old, old raft. But um, I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, I got a radio over there too. <laughs> um, I, I, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you want to see more Raft, uh, a group of friends and I, we've been streaming uh, Raft once or twice a week on my Twitch channel. Uh, the link will be in the description. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and that's about it. See ya.